first modification to the Raptor, new wheels and tyres. So hit up the boys obviously at Method to see what they had and they had something um, pretty special. So I have five in the back of the truck right now and we're heading down to a tyre shop. I had to, couldn't get into my normal tyre shop, I had to get into a, a different one because uh, the other guys were booked out. So heading down to Newcastle now, get these wheels and tyres fitted up. This isn't really me to go with this sort of wheel, but it, it grew on me pretty fast when the boys showed me up there in Queensland. And I was like, yeah, that, those, those wheels are freaking sick. Like, the color is absolutely insane in the sun and just something completely different and something that I didn't think that I would uh, put on my car. The color really does match in with the dash and the instruments on the Raptor. So there's a little bit of a hint. I am running 35s. We did put 35s on there, uh, Toyos. So I'm really rating the Toyos on the F truck. Um, we just fitted up some new wheels and tires to the caravan as well. But I'm really rating these uh, Really rating the Toyos, I, I think they're, they're sick. I put the 35s on, I test mounted one of these wheels because the boys, uh, Michael at Method, mounted them up for me um, so I could test fit them. So I test fitted one at home on the front to see if it would clear without a lift. So the issue with lifting a Raptor is that you're moving the, your perfect ride zone in between the, uh, the valve the, the ports and stuff on the shocks, you're kind of you're dead center. You're dead center as standard. So if you lift it, dropping the piston inside, coming closer to the bump zone. So I am going to lift this Raptor, but I'm going to take it up to Mike Shock Shop. They're developing a lift kit for this now, which uh, revalves the uh, the shock itself. So I will be getting a lift in this thing, uh, but not until we can do it correctly and it functions like factory. I won't be doing anything without until we can uh, actually change the internals of the shock. So I know they're on the last couple of weeks stages of doing that development now. So they're nearly at the, the final end of their development on getting that ready for market. So I'll let you guys know when it's available for your Raptor. But that just makes it ride just like factory. So by giving you that extra probably one inch in the rear, two inch in the front, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm still, uh, still don't know the specs on the lift, but just gonna lift that front end up a little bit. So I can fit the 35s now, as long as I take the front mud flaps off, I test fitted them and the, when I go full lock, the tire just clips the, the front mud flaps on the inside. So I remove them and that'll give me about half an inch of clearance uh, for now until I do get the lift in later. wheels over into the sun for you to have a look and check the uh, check this color out it's absolutely insane he's ready So when Michael showed me these, I'll put up a video now of me actually first seeing the wheels and my first impressions. So this is for the Raptor? Yeah. Reaction video apparently. You ready? <laughs> mm. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're pretty sick. They're pretty special, yeah. aren't they? Wow. Brand spanking new colour in the 305 NV. 
It's, al it's almost the uh, the Ford blue oval colour, isn't it? That is legit. Yeah. Sign you up. Six of those for the new Raptor. Hell yeah. Alright. Set of 35 Toyo MTs. Yep. Coming your way. Thanks, bro. No that is too. that is wicked. I knew you'd like it. The more I looked at them and looked at the colour in the sun and realised how sick these things were, these are legit. So you guys will be able to order these now for your for your truck. Cut the blue, that metallic, and then when it's dark, the wheels really look like a really deep blue and it goes with the dash and stuff in the Raptor. On the Raptor you can see the blue that's in the dash and the screens and stuff and I just saw it tying that in with the, the gold, the fake beadlock here, the gold there, the gold on my number plates, things like that. And then the blue with the dash and just that whole blue and red Ford theme on the black car would just look sick. Let you know all the offset and the color and stuff towards the end of the video. Quick gaze at the back shocks while we got it off. She's already muddy. It's got 1800 Ks on it already. And you got the front live valves. So I am going to lift the truck, but we do have to get the get it revalved for when the piston comes down when we lift it. So that way the the bypass ports and the pistons in the center. So we don't we're not riding in the bump zone then. So the boys are just pulling out the TPMS sensors out of the standard wheels, put the TPMS sensors in the new wheels, so that way it all works and stuff. So I have done a test fit, but. It cleared with the mud flaps hanging down the back, so I pulled the mud flaps off, so everything should be sweet. The only thing is, I don't know if we're gonna get one underneath yet. Well, uh, there's a bit of clearance there. Hopefully Ford's taken into account that people are gonna put 35s on it, so see what happens. So instead of running weights on my wheels, I run the uh, balance beads inside the tires. I've just found that doing a lot of off-road, you can lose your weights on the inside of the rim. So by going to the beads, it just kind of uh, foolproofs you for um, yeah, tough terrain and all the rest of it so that way the balance beads inside the tyre will balance your wheel as it's rotating. So instead of having the weights on the outside because I always lose the damn weights and I was really getting frustrated with it so my, my normal tyre shop I go to told me to stick the, uh, they decided to put the beads in the 37s on the Toyos and they've been friggin awesome. So I never had balance issues, the tyres are always perfectly balanced every time I drive but yeah highly rate if you got kind of like a 33 and above I'd recommend to get the balance beads put inside your inside your tires I've had nothing but great success with them and don't ever have that that potential of losing a weight off the inside of the wheel and then having wheels that are unbalanced Well, it fits just, so maybe on the next Raptor Ford can give us a little bit more room at the back there. Bring that bumper out. If that bumper was out another inch, it'd be perfect, but we do have clearance on the watts linkage, so yes, 35 will fit, but by the smallest margin, so we should be right. Yeah, I'll probably do that when I take it for a drive. The other day when I did a clearance check, I thought that I might have just had to remove the front mud flaps, but yeah, they're actually touching on the inside of the guard there at full lock. As long as you do the same setup as this, you should have the same result, but 35 will fit underneath the back just. Rear fits on fine. The fronts, you will need to trim the in, inner part of the guard, just where the, the wheel comes back there. With a lift, you might not need to, but as long as you're doing the lift correctly, um, with the valving rechange and stuff like that, so it uh, really depends on what your exact setup is, uh, what wheels, tires, offset, 
So I'll give you all the specs on what I've put on this and what I had to do to make it fit. Uh, have I noticed a performance difference? Uh, yes, it's a little bit laggier trying to take off just because it's trying to spin such a such a bigger tire. It's yeah, two inches bigger than, than what was on there originally. So 33s going to 35s. So definitely feel a little bit, it's a little bit laggier. Still got plenty of punch and everything as these things do, but you do notice that little bit of lagginess. Um, but it's not something that I'm concerned or worried about. The tire noise on the highway, if I'm quiet, I don't know if you can hear that. There's a slightest little bit of a whine there from the tires, but most of the time you're gonna be listening to the radio anyway, and as soon as you turn the radio on, it drowns it out. So yeah, a little bit of noise there, but it's, uh, it's nothing that I'm concerned about. As far as the ride is concerned, I'm just on a really bad stretch of highway, if you know the highway, uh, Heatherbray, after you come over the bridge, just there at Hexham, in between Heatherbray and Hexham. Um, it's real concretey and real aggressive section of highway. It's smooth as. The, the, uh, the live valve shocks are just, yeah, I think it's actually better than standard with the 35s on. It feels smoother, so that's just my personal opinion. So I've been driving for about 100 k's with the new wheels on. Have I noticed the fuel increase? So I was at 13.1, now I'm at 13.4 is my average after 100 k's of driving. Just normal driving, not being an idiot. Because um, I definitely just want to know if it did go up. So yes, it has gone up. So I just thought with the colour of these wheels coming up to the beach, just would be a sick contrast between the sand, the wheels, the ocean. And yeah, didn't didn't disappoint. So, what do you guys think? I think they're absolutely sick. I love these things. In some light, they're like black. In other light, they they're really bright blue. And then they've got this just this metallic through them when the sun hits them. of that blue the bronze that I got going on and some other mods I'm gonna do should just bring it all together so these are the 305 NVs they're a positive 25 they got a 35 12 and a half R17 Toyo MT mud tire on them so that's all the specs of the wheels and the tires so there is a little bit of trimming involved to get them on the front if you don't have a lift I am going to lift the Raptor, but I want to do it properly. For now, I have done a little bit of trimming on the inside guard, which I'll show you. So just in there, you can see where I've just trimmed, just in here. Just had to trim that out, that little plastic corner, to uh, fit the 35s on there. Gloss blue with the uh, black outer lip. They're available in uh, mach machine finish, matte black and bronze. Uh, they fit most of your six stud dual cabs and also Land Cruiser 300. And I've got the uh, bronze topo flush cap. It's like a topographic map there with the, uh, the bronze there to match my number plates. So, look pretty, pretty sweet. And these are also, methods are also load tested on a 37 inch tire. So just remember that when you're choosing wheels and stuff for your, for your vehicle. So yeah, plenty more mods to come on the Raptor, but definitely not the route I thought I'd go with wheels, but I think that looks sick. I'm super happy with them. They're different than what everyone else is doing right now. Everyone's doing either matte black or bronze or, so something just completely uh, left field for me. And I, I freaking love them, I reckon they're awesome, so. Everything is in the description, all the info on the wheels and tyres and where you can get them if you want some. But yeah, Method Race wheels, I pretty much wouldn't run anything else. The Toyos, loving the Toyo RTs on the F-Truck. Now I'm going to get to run the MTs on the Raptor, so 
we'll see how we go with those and I'll report back and let you know how I'm going with them. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. So I do have some uh, new hats on the website as well. So these are the stealth hats. So I've got them in black, uh, tan, and also like, like this sort of army green on my shirt. If you're interested in grabbing one of them, links are in the description. Bunch of stickers on there too. You can get F-Tech stickers, just like on the back of the Raptor I got here. So I've got die cuts on there. I've got window banners as well that can go across the front of your window. So there's heaps of stuff on my website, so go check that out. Help support the channel. See you guys.